Hey, it's Matt. We're back. In this uh, this video, we're going to confirm that Google Cloud is working. We're going to confirm that Terraform is working the way we'd expect, and we're going to actually spin up uh, our very own Mage server using one of the Mage Terraform templates. Um, and so the first thing we want to do is make sure that Google Cloud is installed, the Google Cloud CLI. Um, and a very easy way to do that is to just run gcloud um, auth list. That's going to list the accounts that are authorized um, and also display your email address. So I'm not going to run that right here. Um, but then if you really want to make sure things are operating, you could run gcloud storage ls. That's just going to list the buckets that you have in your Google Cloud instance. So I'm going to clear that out. We know that's configured. Um, and now we need to pull down the mage terraform templates. So the command there is git clone this URL. Um, I'm going to supply that to everyone in the course notes. Uh, running that is going to pull that down. Uh, and I'm going to cd right into that folder ls-la to see what's in there. You can see that we have a Terraform template for each deployment. And so, like I discussed uh, in the last video, Terraform is just a way to um, define infrastructure as code and then manage deployment, um, creation, deletion of those resources. So each different cloud provider is going to need its own template. But since we've been working with GCP, we're going to CD GCP. Always love the opportunity to rhyme. Um, and then we can take a look at what's inside of that. So. There are some variables, a main file. You can see a bit of uh, other definitions. We're not going to get too into the weeds on Terraform. We're going to keep it pretty surface level and just let you deploy this and play around with it. Um, but we've already defined the permissions we need in Google Cloud. Um, we've already installed everything we need. So this should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to run code, code dot to open VS Code, and then we'll kick it off from there.